What's going on guys? So in that long EDC kind of goodie bag full of stuff video, I mentioned that I might make a separate video talking about this knife and uh, the politics that surround Victorinox. So if you're not familiar, Victorinox is from Switzerland. They are Swiss army knives, right? And every country has its different politics and stuff. And so back in the day, um, when Blade HQ reached out to see if uh, they want to do a, or I want to do a collaboration with them, which I was super excited to do, and we did. We made these, uh, you know, little Victorinox SD classics, and it was not just me; it was a couple other YouTubers as well. And it was kind of cool. So on the one side here, we have a cigar, right? Makes sense. Again, just going back and forth to different ideas. At the time, I was doing cigar videos, which P.S. I would love to do more, but YouTube is anti-tobacco. If you don't know, you can look at the terms and service. Kind of ridiculous, but it's just what it is. But anyway, so we have a cigar. We have the band for the cigar is the Blade HQ logo, right? And then on top we have the Victorinox shield. And you can see, you know, I did carry and use this one, so the paint's chipping off a little bit. It's basically just a white scale that they colored. And the other side is also a cigar, but the band on this side has my logo on it. And then we have a character of me, right? So let me zoom in on this. So... What's interesting is that when, you know, they, the Blade HQ, we got images, they had uh, their graphic artist, whoever was doing the work for them, you know, came up with these different pictures and stuff, and I gave the okay on them, they sent them to Victorinox, and Victorinox said, no, absolutely not. And you might be surprised at what they did not want. Now, it wasn't the cigar, that's totally fine, you could, you could smoke in Switzerland, no big deal. It wasn't, you know, the chubby guy. <laughs> I'm sure there's people who look like me in Switzerland. Um, it was actually a problem with my logo. So let's get another good zoom on this logo here. Whoop. See, it, it blurred. I want to actually grab the um, little glass here so we can get a closer shot of this. So the logo, actually, I'm going to leave this towards the camera. There we go. So what is... What's up with the logo? All right, Cutlery Lover. You see the knife for the T in Cutlery. Then we have the pipe, which again, totally fine, for the L in Lover. Then we, you know, hard to see here, but it's a folding knife for, for the V. But notice the R. That is not a gun. So, you may or may not have guessed it, but Switzerland is anti-gun all right so for anyone who doesn't know maybe you're new but here's my logo here's the exact logo and the r is very much a gun in fact that r is a silhouette of the keltec p3at which is what i carried daily at the time when this logo was created but on the knife it does not exist so with the back and forth they they outright just said no we're not going to put a gun on there we just don't believe in that and Blade HQ came back to me and said you know hey you know this is what it is and I said all right well I definitely want to do the collaboration I, I've always admired you know Victorinox I you know love you guys Blade HQ is awesome for a dealership you know and so it is what it is so they uh, they altered the logo to turn the R just into an R so a little Easter egg if you happen to have one of these you can check it out closer but yeah there is no gun in my logo because Victorinox is anti-firearm. That's just how it is. So yeah, just a little little tidbit for you, in case you didn't know. Now, I don't buy into politics that often. Obviously, you know, with the election coming up, the, everyone's political and, you know, I'm not going to share my opinions. You could probably guess how I swing. Um, I'm just hoping for the best. Honestly, I just one of those things. I, I want America to succeed and, um, whatever that means, you know, whatever that's going to take. And regardless of who wins, you know, it's going to be a different story in four more years. You know what I mean? Now, you could do a lot in four years, but you also can't do that much at the same time, especially if, uh, you know, the opposition is keeping you down the whole time. So regardless of who you're voting for, you know, what's going to happen in four years? We don't know. Total question mark. Um, so, yeah, I mean, as far as, uh, you know, when you get into, you know, hear about knife politics, for example, like the anti-bench made, the boycott, right? Because they were anti-gun and all that stuff, which they weren't. That, you know, you can 
look at the details of that. Um, you know, over the years, there's been many different companies, you know, that are within our, you know, um, you know, EDC culture, different, you know, knife groups and gear companies. And these, these stories come out and you're like, oh man, and then people get, you know, really heated about it and they have, you're very opinionated and you know, boo hoo, I'm not going to do that. So like, it's very easy if you're an American and you're pro second amendment, um, and you love your guns to go, yeah, let's boycott Swiss army knives. So it's really easy to, you know, see this video, for example, and be like, yeah, no, if they're anti-gun, I'm definitely not going to buy, you know, Victorinox. I'm not going to support them. Listen, you know, no matter what you do, you're going to support people you don't agree with. That is just the way it is in 2024. You do not have a choice. If you're a proud American, you've purchased and currently own and enjoy something Chinese, if not a thousand different Chinese products, right? And uh, supporting China really is anti-America. That's just a fact, right? They don't want us to succeed. They want to be the next world power. So it just is what it is. I love knives. I will love all knives. I've said this before. There could be a knife company out there and the owner kicks babies for fun. And if they have a good knife, then I'll, I'll check it out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't, you know, I, I always say this too. If every single product you use every day, and there's thousands of them, you don't even realize it. All these different products you use, every single thing. If you researched the owner of that company or what they do in their personal life or what groups they support you would live in a hut wearing a, you know a loincloth because they're you're supporting something you don't like and you don't even know it it's just how it is um but hey you guys do you if you don't like something you want to boycott or, or you know put a stink up about it who am i to say not to you know what i'm saying i can't control what you guys do uh nor do i care you know but i just thought this was interesting i wanted to share with you guys um yeah, I mean, I, I wanted the collaboration to happen. There was definitely a moment. There was probably a good three or four hours when I first heard the news back. And I'm like, you know what? Forget them. I'm not even going to do this, you know. And I got frustrated and upset because I'm like, well, I'm going to have a knife without my logo. But how many people even noticed? You know, a bunch of people bought these. I like the, forget what the run was, 150, maybe 200. And they sold out. So did anyone notice? I don't know. I don't think I've ever mentioned this, by the way. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Make so many damn videos, I don't remember what I say half the time. But I don't. I don't think I ever went into detail on that. But yeah, there's there's no gun in my logo um, for this collaboration. So that's it. Just want to share that little story with you. <laughs> so and like I said, a little Easter egg if you happen to own this knife. And if you don't, maybe it'll pop up on eBay. Who knows? But that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And don't let politics ruin your day. Obviously, people are going to be heated. Like I said, the election's going to come up. No matter what happens, there's going to be a lot of angry people. Hopefully, everyone keeps their cool enough where it doesn't, you know, ruin society. And uh, we can all just keep going to work, making the money, paying the bills, and just, you know, keep kicking. I am an American. I'm a proud American. And I want my country to succeed, right? I want my people to have wealth. I want people to be happy. You know, I don't want people to worry about bills. But these are all, you know, pipe dreams. That'll never happen. America has been changing quite a bit. And uh, who knows? Who knows what the future holds, you know? But that's just what it is. Like I said, you can't avoid change. With enough time, everything changes. That's just how it is. America will fail. It's just, will you be alive to see it? Am I going to be alive to see it? Every world power has failed in history, right? Fiat currency has failed in history eventually it's all going to collapse hopefully we're all gone all right your kids your grandkids you know it's a sad thing but that's just it's inevitable you know the question is will america fail or will human race fail <laughs> it's the race right which one is going to just disappear first but but not to be all doom and gloom just kind of thinking out loud um you have to live in the moment you have to enjoy every single day anytime you can smile laugh tell a joke Spend some time with loved ones, hug your kids, you know, kiss your pets, all that kind of good stuff. You have to enjoy it, right? Every single day, there's going to be heartache and pain and bad news for someone out there. But you have to enjoy the good moments, right? Because it's all good and bad. And if it's bad, don't worry, because there's good around the corner. It's not just always bad. So chin up. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.